because what we are doing is delivering a fully funded national disability insurance scheme, which Julia Gillard did not deliver. And so rather than saying to parents with a disabled child in a couple of years' time, I'm sorry, the cupboard is bare, we don't have the funds to support the NDIS anymore, what we're doing is saying, looking all Australians in the eye and saying we all benefit from this national disability insurance scheme. This is literally an insurance scheme. The premium is, yeah. is now 1%, uh, so 1% of the 2.5% of the Medicare levy. We all pay it, and what that means is we're all covered. Every single cent of the additional money raised from the increase in the Medicare levy, half a percent, in two years' time from now, that will all go to fully funding the National Disability Insurance Scheme. The levy doesn't come on until the bills start coming in. There is a $55.7 billion gap in the funding of the National Disability Insurance Scheme. And that hole needs to be filled. And there is a funding gap, and it does have to be filled. And if it's not filled, then families who deal with um, disabilities will not have the certainty they need. And then you've got to have a fair way of filling that gap, which is what we've done uh, with the Medicare levy. That's the fair way to do it, because as Julia Gillard said, everybody puts in because everybody takes out. What I'm disappointed about is that once again, the government has put in the position where we are trying to do the right thing for the Australian people. The Labor Party should be supporting this bill. Remember, it was Bill Shorten who said that increasing the Medicare levy was the right thing to do when the Labor Party was doing it. And to now be, be, to play this cheap politics around people with disabilities, I think is just incredibly disappointing. I mean, this guy changes his mind on everything when it suits him. That's why I described him as a snake in the parliament the other day. What we're doing with the uh, proposed increase in the Medicare levy is to fully fund the National Disability Insurance Scheme uh, in a way that uh, the Gillard government envisaged it would be funded. I mean, the Gillard government uh, took the first step uh, in uh, seeking to fund it uh, in part mm. uh, through an increase in the Medicare levy. It is a very fair way of uh, funding a scheme like the... Uh, but how are you going to pay for if income if tax cuts? If, if I may on the basis uh, that every Australian makes a proportionate contribution to it. The more you earn, uh, the more you contribute. The less you earn, the less you contribute. And if you are a low, a very low income earner, you're actually fully exempted from paying it altogether. So it's a very fair way uh, to help ensure that the National Disability Insurance Scheme is funded on an ongoing basis.